Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, my name is Esther Moffrey. So in today's video, I want to show you the simplest forex trading strategy for beginners and with this strategy, you will be able to catch 100 pips per day. Yes, you heard me right. 100 pips per day if you use this strategy well. So if you're interested, continue watching and if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly hit that red button down below and don't don't forget to switch on your notification bell so that you cannot miss any upload on this channel so guys without wasting any time let's get down into the video so guys on this simple trading strategy we are on a one hour chart time frame so guys our our simple strategy it's a I call it a reversal of a trend. So with what we are doing, we want to check our already happening trend and then we capitalize on the reversal. So we don't want to hope in, in a trend that has already happened. We just want to identify a trend, then we capitalize on the reversal. So this simple strategy, we are just looking on reversal. I hope it is clear. So let's go back. Let's um, analyze from 9th, 9th November all the way and see if we can see a setup. So the first thing that you need to do is to mark the highest point of your price. In this, on this chart, what can you see? You see, analyzing the chart is very easy if you take it slow by slow like step by step the first thing i tell my students or I, I i say to anyone who wants to learn forex just mark the highest point and the lowest point that's that's what you need so you just take your horizontal line and mark the highest point where you can see where did the price reach the highest then mark the lowest point where did the price reach the lowest remember guys this this is our resistance this stands for our resistance so that's our resistance and the lowest stands for our support so the lowest is our support so when you mark those two points you want to ask yourself why what is the trend remember guys our strategy is all about reversal we want to identify a trend already happening and we wait for the reversal of that trend because we'll be sure to cut a hundred pips. So uh, at this moment, if I can just, um, let's say the market had reached this point, let me just mark it. This is where you're finding uh, the market. That's why you're finding the market. So what is the trend of the market? We can know that for sure the market was trending up and then it reached our resistance. You know, when the market hits resistance, it either gets rejected or it breaks the resistance. So at this case, it didn't break the resistance. So it started going down and it started, the sellers came in. And why do we know that this and the sellers took control because they started creating lower lows and lower highs. Those are the, the lower lows and lower highs of sellers. It's a market structure that you need to understand what it looks or what it means to say lower lows and lower highs. So if you can even take a trend line and try to connect those uh, the the lines where the sellers are pushing the market to they are creating lower lows and lower highs so guys this is what support the sell so you can see it is being created lower lows and lower highs when i say lower lows and lower highs i mean when the sellers came in the second time they pushed the market lower than this when the buyers tried to come in they were unable to push the market all the way to the resistance though they created a lower high so it is lower uh, than the previous one so uh, at this moment um we can we can see that the buyers are being defeated every time they try to come in this market so we can use our trend line and see what is happening as in the the buyers when they reach a place they are being defeated like these buyers when they were given a chance they never took the price up to resistance point so the market was really supporting a sell opportunity 
and that's why i'm saying when you find a market like this let's say you found it here don't jump on sale because if you jumped on sale here if you say let me sell at this point you sell and then the market start coming up and maybe you had put your stop loss at this uh, at this point you see you could have been stopped out that's why i'm saying it's not good to chase the market so when the market reached here uh, what we are now trying to look is a reversal what a behavior and how do we know a reversal of a market is when the market starts breaking its structure remember guys at this moment it's creating lower lows and lower highs if the sales don't push the market lower what we want at this moment is when sell come in they push the market lower at this more at this point they push market lower i want to hide that so that we can see it together so the the sellers should push push the mark should push the market lower than the previous one so that the trend can continue but guess what that's not what happened the market start started to consolidate and this now it's what now you start preparing for a uh, an entry but still you're not sure so as i can come come up so there's someone who would have said uh, the sellers it's like they are not sure but someone will say oh let me see if the sellers will surely uh, take over this market maybe it's a consolidation you can wait so when we come all the way we see sellers being given a chance to take the market and they are defeated again what do they create they create a lower a high low so when they create a high low buyers now take control guys i hope you are um you understanding what i mean because high highs and high lows supports buyers lower lows and lower high support sell so when you see a high low in a market automatically buyers have entered in so your position would be have in this place when you saw the sellers tried again but they never pushed the market down they were supposed like to push this market all the way like all the way down but they didn't so when they did not push the market down or so what you can do um you can either uh, go to a, a smaller time frame like 15 minutes and see what is happening at this moment and now look for an entry and you see if you entered at this point let's see how many pips you would have you would have got let's say an entry is here let's see you see 119 pips so i can just uh bring it so that you can see it so if the sellers were defeated here and you decide to enter this trade just by knowing it's a reversal because the alarm was here the sellers were trying to come in but they were rejected and this small doji shows you that there is rejection and then when buyers came in still there were that uh sellers trying to come in because of the small small dodges for many hours remember guys one candle represent one hour so one two three four five six seven for so for seven for another seven hours the market was was not clear what it wants so it's not good if you had entered a buy from this point and you start seeing something like this just exit the market until the market is clear so uh when the buyers uh, when the sellers came in this doji means the buyers has been defeated so you your work is to wait 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 so when the buyers now uh, when the sellers came in with this red candle at 12 what you would have done you would have gone to a, a smaller time frame to check if the sellers get rejected so if they get rejected and then at one it prints a blue candle meaning the the sellers have been rejected your entry would have been this point and on this point that's why that's why we are saying just check 124 pips guys just by identifying a reversal of the market so let's see uh the current the current where the market is and we see if we can be able to identify what will happen this week so let me just scroll scroll and see this is our market 
a good reversal guys this is a good reversal why because what have i said when you open your chart the first thing you do is to identify two points two points guys two points you need to identify your highest point and your lowest point what is our highest point at this moment it is at 1.79 that's our highest point so 1.79 is our highest point what is our lowest point is 1.76 that's our lowest point that's what you need to do just mark the highest and the lowest and then ask yourself where where is the market going what is happening on the chart is it making high highs and high lows or is it making lower lows or lower highs is it who are in control is it the buyers or the sellers what is the trend is it an uptrend or a downtrend in this case as you can see this was our support as i have told you so you have identified your support and resistance what next we want to identify what is the trend so the market was here you can see how the market stayed in this place of support the sellers were trying to break the support but guess what they didn't manage so what's happening at this moment sellers have tried to push this market down but guess what so the minute it started coming up it started creating a high highs and high lows so the market the buyers would push the market up then when sellers try to push the market they will be defeated because they are not pushing lower than this actually they didn't even manage to push the market up to here then when the buyers took control they would push market even higher than the previous uh the previous price that's why we say high highs and then the sellers tried again they were defeated because they could not push the price any lower so it went like that and eventually the the buyers you can see they are still pushing the market high and sellers are being defeated you can see here at this moment people would think ah the market has gone high and then they will sell too bad you don't just sell anywhere because you will be stopped out when the markets continue moving upside you need to wait for a market structure uh it breaks its structure so that you can start uh you can either put a sell or a buy but you don't just buy or sell anywhere so again remember the price was pushed until our resistance and as you can see when you come at the previously on 16th of december it had touched this place and that's why the buyers were willing to push the market until this point so everything in the charts it's like a reputation if you open your eyes you can see what i mean so they pushed the market and immediately when the market came to this point of resistance it was rejected so this being a one hour chart what we want to see you can start seeing a reversal a reversal means the buyers tried here you see now when the buyers came in they would have pushed the market even higher and break the resistance but that that's um that's not what happened instead they were like they didn't have more strength and sellers came in but now there's a catch here the sellers yes the market is down but they have not pushed the market lower than this place you see so what do you want to see we want to see a market like um let me delete this we want to see a market goes down or goes up maybe these buyers what maybe is for me to have um an entry or a, a trade on this chart um will be looking what happens on this trade will the buyers get rejected how far will these buyers push the market if they don't push the market to this place even they can push to the resistance and still get rejected my point is not how far they can push my point is if they get rejected how far are the sellers willing to push the market will they break this zone that's my key area and if they break this zone i will not enter a sell here i will wait until it retest back again you see guys you need to be uh, to have 
so uh, like tight rules for you to govern yourself not to lose in the market so what i'm looking is the market comes up i don't know how far but if it goes up than this if the buyers decide to push the market higher than this we don't have a reversal because it will have created a high high so if the buyers decide to push the market let's say they decide to push the market up like that we don't have a reversal because it has created a high highs but if the the buyers reach the market there and the sellers come in and push and they break this because this as we can extend if we extend this place this is a zone and this zone is very 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 strong you can see there is a time the, the price stayed in this place for days so if the sellers are willing to break this zone it means it has to get retested so that the reversal can be uh, can be approved or can be good for us to trade so what i can see for this trade is it breaks and then retest so our entry point will be here so we shall enter here so this is, should be our entry and this will happen if that if the price does that on monday so when we enter here where is our take profit so our take profit we can just come to the the previous low you can either come to this low let's see how many how many pips are those we have almost 90 pips 90 to 100 pips so that's why i was telling you this strategy will give you at least 100 pips because you will be trading on a zone and on a zone on gbp pairs it goes like 100 pips when it starts to drop so guys i hope you have uh, learned something i never thought this video will be so long but it's better to be long and you understand the strategy and i will be posting on this maybe i'll do uh, i'll give maybe an updated what happened on this market so that we can even approve this strategy so thank you guys for watching i hope you have learned something comment down below let me know what you have learned on this strategy about reversal do you are you able to identify an uptrend a downtrend are you able to identify a weak move what is your position when it comes to trading so thank you so much for watching like this video don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed and see you next time bye bye love you